YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and uh, today I am going to show you guys how to make a super clean, balanced UI frame like this one right here. Um, this reference I found is super clean, so I want to show you guys how to make more stuff like this. Uh, this could be like a battle pass, but um, you might think, okay, this is super simple, but in this video, I want to just go over details and things you want to look out for if you want to make UI as clean as this because it looks simple and in actuality it is but there are minor details you have to pay attention to to make UI look uh, like this so let's get right into it you can screenshot this reference if you want and paste it into your own canvas but uh, do that and we're going to select the background color the hex code is 32334C if you want to use it for yourself we're gonna click on the background and we're gonna hit Alt Backspace. Make sure you guys check out our store, gfxcommon.com. Uh, we now have studio imported products. Well, we have one, but we have a lot more coming soon. So yeah, just check it out. We have some free stuff, some UIs, graphics packs. Just check it out for yourself. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. So the next step is to make a new layer. Um, so, so just hit the new layer button. It is next to the garbage can the uh, trash icon <laughs> now we're gonna click and hold and go for the rounded rectangle tool right here as you can see and the radius we're gonna try 15 see if this works um the radius depends on the size that you make your frame as well so now we're gonna hold alt and we're just gonna click on this color and the hex code for this one is 272740 right here all right let's see if 15 works we're just going to go over and 15 should be fine so here is our frame all right i'm just gonna copy and paste this section so we only have that okay so now we have to create our text for balance right here so use your text tool uh, just click right here to reset your colors and switch them to white and right here we're just going to type out balance and I'm gonna change my font. I'm going to use this font called Monster Up right here. And for this one, you wanna go for, I would say regular. So balance. And here are the important parts. Okay, medium actually. And I'm gonna go to my character tab right here. And for the spacing, increase this to 25. That should be fine. So balance is gonna go right here. Let's make sure we have the same size. So it's gonna go right here okay uh, the size is 10 right here okay so we can also grab the same color like that the color is 9191 AC now the important parts about UI um, you can see this looks clean because you see the frame right everything fits proportionally like this Whereas, let's say if you put your text up here, it looks kind of weird now, right? It changes how you want um, the audience to view the UI. You see this one is mainly focused on the center. As you can see, the information is displayed like so. The button goes right here. So, it's nice. Uh, we're going to copy this text, so Control J. And we're going to change the text to a dollar sign now. And we're gonna make this white. Okay. So this remains the same size right here. But now we copy this, Control J. And we're gonna put the actual dollar amount. And now we change the font weight to bold. Now we can increase the size to 13, or actually, let's go for 15. Move it up a little bit. And as you can see, we have a very um, clean. Uh, display right here and now for the actual gradient button you can make a new layer go to your roundup rectangle tool right here and change the radius to 80 I don't know just a large amount and we're just going to duplicate um, this button so right click this button go into blending options and right here we're gonna hit gradient overlay Make sure your mode is normal and change the angle to 
zero. I'm gonna click on this box. Double click here. This is gonna open up. You're gonna select on the left side color. Double click here. Select on the right side color. And you can adjust the scale to make it look cleaner if you want. So right here. And now we're going to duplicate the text at the plus sign. Enlarge this. Control T. This goes right here. And we're gonna make this into regular. Let's make it a bit more thin. And copy this. We're gonna go for refill and make refill 14. Let's go for 12. And refill is gonna be medium. So now if we take these and hold control, click control G to make a group. We're going to place this right here where it belongs. And you can see we have a very clean display. Now how do you make this um, glow effects? So control J on the group to make a copy and control E to flatten this layer. We're going to hold shift and then move it down. We're going to filter, blur, we're going to hit Gaussian blur. And right here we're just going to blur this out. Okay, something like this. Move this layer beneath the actual group. Now just lower the opacity. As you can see, super, super clean. And last but not least, and finally we have to add a shadow. So you know, right click and go for blending options. And we're gonna go for a drop shadow, obviously angle 90 and turn the spread up and size down and also distance so we have an effect like this And yeah, that is pretty much it. That's how you make a super clean um, balance frame like this. If you place this on a game's background, it will look amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. If this helps you, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next videos. Mm -hmm.